If you're like me and you love steak and you love cheese and you love pies. <laughs> so let's put this lot together in a steak and Stilton pie. Let's just bake it. And one of the reasons for this bake is that I've been given the challenge by my youngest son, Nathan, uh, to bake up a pie. Now he's going to bake one and I'm going to bake one. Uh, we don't know what uh, the contents are going to be in each other's. Uh, we both know it's going to be savoury pies. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm going to make a steak and Stilton pie. But we will put links into the videos of each other's at the end uh, so that uh, you uh, can have a look and compare and see what you think. So let's take a look at the ingredients we need for this steak and Stilton pie. So this is the ingredients we will need for this bake today. Uh, to start with, for the pastry mix, we'll need some cold water and we'll need some butter and we'll need some plain flour. Um, then onto the mix for the pie, uh, we've got some beef steak here, uh, obviously some blue cheese, um, some thyme, some balsamic vinegar, uh, some Worcester sauce, a little bit of salt we're going to need as well, uh, some vegetable oil as well, and some stout, uh, in this case a Guinness. Um, some beef um, stock cubes and an onion, also some mushrooms, uh, a couple of cloves of garlic, and the egg is going to be used for glazing. Okay, so let's just uh, get washed up to start with. Now this is a 150 gram block of cheese, but I'm actually looking to use about 120 grams worth. So let's uh, cut a section off here and see how that's going to work out. Hundred twenty-two. I think we'll go for that. And with this cheese, we need it into smaller sections. So just cut it up. Then we're going to put um, half of this into the pastry mix and the other half is going to be actually mixed up with the pie ingredients. So for our short crust pastry mix we're going with 240 grams of plain flour. So we place our flour into the mixing bowl. And we place our butter in there. We've got 120 grams of uh, butter. And we'll have half of our blue cheese. Okay, we'll put the lid on the mixer. And to get a good pastry mix, you want to keep it cold. So we've had cold butter in there. Now we've got some ice cold water we're going to add to it. Not too much. I'll put this in a bit at a time. Okay, so we'll roll this up into a bit of a ball. That's looking pretty good. And then we'll put our cling foam over it and Put it into the fridge. So whilst the pastry is cooling down in the fridge we'll sort out the rest of the ingredients for the pie. So with our beef steak we'll put this into a bowl. We'll add in some plain flour, sprinkle it over the top. We'll go with a teaspoonful of salt. And then just mix it all around just to coat the meat really and season it a little bit. That's good. Right, then we'll place that into the wok. Before we put the meat in, we'll just put a little bit of uh, vegetable oil in. And then we'll tip the meat contents into the wok. Switch on, 
and let that cook up until the meat starts to go brown in colour. Keep folding it in. Shouldn't take too long. And you can see it's all starting to brown off nicely now. Right, that should do I think. Switch that gas off. And then just place the meat into a sieve and let it drain. So we'll come back to the pie filling in a few moments, but first I'd like to get the pastry bag out of the fridge so that we can line our dishes. Then get our pastry back out. Okay, it's nice and cold now. Okay, so let's start rolling this out. Very strong smell of cheese in this pastry. Okay, so let's just roll this over the rolling pin. And we use a rolling pin to pick the whole of the pastry up. Okay, and then bring our dish in and just roll it back over the dish. And then we'll feed the pastry into the dish. Okay, we'll just tear off a bit of pastry and with the pastry just push it all into the corners. Okay, good. And then with a rolling pin, we'll just go over the top and we'll trim the top of it off, we'll trim the sides off. There we go. So we're just going to blind bake these first, which will half cook the pastry. Uh, we'll put some breather holes in the bottom to start with. And this is really to stop the base of the pie swelling up. Then we've got some baking paper. We'll screw it up because it's easy to get the uh, baking beans in there, which I have now. Okay, so we'll tip some in there. And just push them into the corners. Okay, and then we'll put that in the oven uh, on a low temperature for about 12 to 15 minutes. So we'll place those in the oven. the heat to a gas marked five. Okay so these are blind baked now so we'll put these beads away. So with the pastry sorted out in the pie dishes we'll get back to the main filling of the pie. So firstly we'll chop up an onion. And place in a bowl. Then we get some mushrooms. And just cut those up as well. You don't have to put mushrooms if you don't want, if you're not a great fan of mushrooms. Right. Okay. And then we'll place those in the bowl. Then we've got some garlic. And 
Again, this is optional. Some people don't like garlic. Now I'm going to go with either two or three cloves uh, for this, and I think probably three cloves would be just fine, fine for this. Okay, so we just cut these up into tiny segments. Okay, and then add these to the bowl. The remainder of our blue cheese into the bowl. And the next thing is our drained off steak. We'll put that all into the bowl. We're now going to add in some draft Guinness. Um, it doesn't have to be Guinness. There's other stout or even some people uh, put in red wine. Um, or you can make up your own uh, mix. It's entirely up to you. But uh, for this one we want 300 millilitres of Guinness. which is around about there and there's still some left in the tin but don't worry it's not going to go to waste and we'll pour this into the bowl as well so now we're adding some balsamic vinegar I'm going to go for two tablespoons of this and Okay, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. Sprinkle some thyme over. And also sprinkle some salt over. Okay, mix it all up. Pour some water up. So place two stock cubes. You can put three if you want to. Okay, and then we'll add water. And we want about 450 millilitres of water. I believe it's about there okay and just stir until they are dissolved once it's all dissolved as to the bowl okay and then mix all up it smells lovely <laughs> okay we're gonna add this to the wok around and turn the gas on and we'll put the lid on you turn the gas down low and just leave it a simmer an hour and a half maybe two if you really want the flavors to really enhance in there and um, keep checking it because it may start to dry it you may need to add additional water to it got to say that smells gorgeous anyway what I want to concentrate on now is making the lid for the pie and I want to put on their leaves but leaves made out of pastry okay so I've got the pastry back out from the fridge right let's just roll this out okay so I have a pastry cutter here in a leaf shape so what we're going to do is just dig that in there and make some leaves up okay with these I'll just mark them down the middle and I mark them on the side leaves there we go okay. 
Right, okay, so this looks like it's about ready. It's been simmering now for a couple of hours and uh, it's uh, ready to go into the pie dish now. Okay, so start to put this into the pie dishes. So I want to put a top on the pie now. So I'm going to dampen the edges of the pastry with water so the leaves will stick onto it. Okay, we've got these leaves that we're going to put on there, so... Those on there, give a bit more dampness and stick another one across there. And just before we put them in the oven, we'll give the pies an egg wash. This helps the pastry go a nice golden brown colour. OK, so we'll put the pies in the oven. Turn the temperature down to gas mark 6 or 180 degrees centigrade and leave them in there for about 30 to 35 minutes. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Right. Steak and Stilton pies, and I must say they smell absolutely wonderful. Can't wait to try a bit of that. Anyway, as I said at the beginning of this video, um, this is a bit of a challenge that my son Nathan has put down uh, for us to bake savoury pies. Um, I don't know what pie he's baking, and he doesn't as yet know what pie I've baked. But I'm sure we'll find out soon, and we'll put links in on these videos. So if you've liked what you've seen, please give a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching again. See you next time.